Sometimes a vector space lives inside a bigger vector space. In that situation, the smaller vector space is called a subspace of the bigger one. For example, let C of D represent the set of all continuous real valued functions from D to R. Is this a vector space? To answer this question, we make the observation that we've already shown that the set of all the functions from D to R is a vector space. And therefore, so if the set of all functions is a vector space, then all functions have these vector space properties. And if all functions have these properties, certainly the set of continuous functions have these properties. So are we done? Have we answered this question? Yes. Well, we're not done because there are a few properties that aren't on this list. For example, in order to be a vector space, we need a zero function. Now, because the set of all functions is a vector space, we know that a zero function exists. But if this set is going to be a vector space, the set, the zero function has to be in this set. In other words, we need the zero function to be continuous, which it is, of course. Summarizing this, if a set lives inside a vector space, it satisfies most of the vector spaces automatically. Here's what we don't get automatically. Theorem and definition. Suppose that H is a subset of a vector space. Then H has most of the vector space properties. And in order to be a vector space, we only need to check three things. The zero vector has to be in H. H has to be closed under scalar multiplication. H has to be closed under addition. If we have these three properties, then H is a vector space, and we call it a subspace of V. Returning to our example, this space or set, I should say, of continuous functions is a subset of the set of all functions, which we know is a vector. 
vector space. So for this to be a vector space, we need three things. Zero has to belong to this set. We know a zero function exists because this is a vector space, but we need that zero function to be in here. And that's a check. The zero function is the constant function f of x equals zero. And constant functions are continuous. Two, if f is in the set of continuous functions, functions, and k is any real number, then we need k times f to be in the set of continuous functions. The set of all functions functions is closed so we because it's a vector space so we know that k times f is in this bigger set but what we need is for k times f to be in this smaller set and that's another check it's a theorem from calculus that if we have a continuous function and we multiply it by a constant, the result is continuous. Lastly, if we have two functions in this set, we need closure under addition. That is to say, if f and g are continuous, we need f plus g to be continuous. Check again. Once again, it's a theorem from Couch this, that the sum of two continuous functions is continuous. And because this set lives inside a vector space, those three conditions are all we need to proclaim that this set is a vector space. We can say further that it's a subspace of this vector space.